Hey, Uncle from PracticallyRealGaming.com and uh, going to walk you guys through the uh, randomized insurgent uh, uniform hats and glasses script that I wrote for the mission Friend or Foe. So stick around. I'll give you a quick run through real fast at the beginning and then I'll get into a little more detail uh, in the later part of the video. So the quick and easy way that I got the uniforms and the hats and the eyeglasses uh, into this was that I just went and selected all the uniforms, scroll through here and place them all on the ground. Uh, same thing for hats, place them all on the ground. But for eyeglasses, I had to do something different. I'll leave that for the long explanation. I just grabbed all of those items once I had my list, went to log and log class is the clipboard. Um, the short of it is, if I get then over to here and I do a new window, if I paste that in, I get a list of items. Now I had to remove all the item so that the uniform actually is, is uh, just from the UIC. And then just turn that into an array. Same thing with the uh, hat and then the eyeglasses. I had to go into the config viewer and grab those. Um, so basically all my mission script really is, is creating a global variable called glasses and putting in all those class names in for the glasses, uh, one for uniforms uh, and all the class names in for that. Uh, headgear, so this is all of the enemy headgear uh, under this one and then friendly is the blue ones here. And then basically, so if the mission parameters are that uh, we have uh, allowed to have friendly headgear as well it, on the enemies as well. Then I just add all the friendly onto the end of the list of the uh, enemy headgear and so that they would be able to select from the blue as well. I just push those values in. Uh, basically all the script does is it has one uh, function. So the code from this curly bracket down to here was stored in a variable so that I can call it and execute this code. Uh, it stores the unit. This is just to do one single unit uh, and then the whatever the friendly parameter is that we set in the mission description. I basically store the uniform items that are in the unit already. So any magazines, first aid kit, stuff like that, just store it into this little variable. I remove the uniform, I force add, a random, so select random from UNC uniforms, basically any one of these, it just selects one of them randomly, adds it to the unit, um, and then I force add the uniform, and then I, for each of those uniform items I stored here, I add them back into the new uniform. That's as simple as it is. Uh, if they're, for the headgear, if the side is independent, which is friendly, and the parameter is zero, which means up here, the parameter zero was, they always have blue headgear. All right, then in that case, it's going to only select from the blue headgear type, select random from the blue variable. Uh, if it's parameter one, then it selects a random number between one and a hundred. If it's less than or equal to 50, I'm gonna add the blue friendly headgear. If it's greater than that, I'm gonna add something from the enemy headgear. And if the parameter for the friendlies was that they all get the same headgear as any enemies, uh, then I select from the enemy headgear. It's that simple. Else, if it's not independent, then it's just going to add uh, gear from the enemy headgear. Simple. So, there we go. Uh, then add glasses. It's just basically select random from the array of possible uh, glasses from there. That's as simple as it is. That will run on the unit. Now, in order to change the entire group at a time, I have another function, all right, uncle group random gear, and it basically, if I pass the group in the parameters, when I call it, it will take that group. I also need to pass what the friendly parameter is because I'm not using this to get it. Um, that means you could set, you could put mission or groups on the editor and change you don't have to select something globally here. You could pass it individually. You could have some have 100% blue, some have 50% blue. By however you call the, the group function, and it'll pass it to here. 
Um, basically, it then just calls the unit function from here for every one of the units in uh, that group. So you pass the group to this one, it gets the units that are in that group and then calls the individual one. So that's super simple, quick and easy. Now, for a longer explanation, let's get into this. I'll show you how I cleaned this up. Okay, so I was over to here. I mean, it's really simple, right? I mean, you should be uh, used to doing replace functions. I am going to take everything, every instance of item underscore in this and replace it with absolutely nothing. Replace all, bam. Um, this is why uh, Notepad++ is so great. Now I just need to turn this into, um, basically put my quotations and that around it. So I'm going to record that macro. I'm going to put quotation. All right. And then I'm going to go home, down, back. All right. Then that. And that's all I need to do uh, for now. I'm just going to add the quotations. I'm going to go over back to here and then stop my macro. Now if I just play it, it should just be adding quotations on every single one of those. Bam, that's great. Although that was funny because it was the end of the line, but yep, yeah, okay, there we go. So now I just need to put these with commas in between them for an array. And so for that, I'm going to record just another macro. I'm going to go down and then left arrow comma, space, delete, and then home, stop, and I'm going to play it, play it, play it, play it, play it, play it, now it's got to go down, and then play it, 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 play it. I got to go down too, and now I've got everything formatted for an array. So now I could say, like this, I'll just do it in another line so it's easy. I was going to say my variable would be, let's say, unc other uniforms equals, and that's my square brackets for the array. Cut that, stick that in the middle of that, and now we've got an array, a global array of all the units that I can select random from. So if I want to now select any one of these, I could say selected uniform equals select random unc other oops other and there we go so that would return me just any one of these random uniforms so that's you could do the same thing for the um let's see the uh hats now the hats again i did the same thing these were all the enemy i don't want that comment we go. I'm going to log those classes to the clipboard, come back over to the text editor, paste that in. Oh, I didn't like that. All right. Log classes to clipboard, paste that in. Why are you not liking that? There we go. So in this one, I think it was the same thing. If I just double check my headgear, yeah, I had to remove the the headgear off of each of them. So it's the same process again, clean that up, turn that into an array, um, and I'll show you the config viewer. So I just went into config viewer, which is tools, config viewer, and you're looking for something called CFG glasses. And now if I'm going to go up, I can see why people avoid the, there we go, we've got config glasses. Let's open that up. Yeah, this is where I got them. So yeah, basically I just went down here and went, okay, they're aviator glasses. And then what I did is I simply just copied and pasted from here. Bam, and just pasted that in. Same through my Bellacavo back. So I realized if I double click on here, it automatically selects it with the quotes. And so it was really simply all I did is a Bellacava combat, double click it, copy, paste into my array. And that's how I got the class names for that. Okay, I'm gonna close up the config viewer. Uh, let's see, a more detailed description on one of these things here. Um, you know, I don't think it's really necessary. Uh, this is a bit more complicated than it needs to be. Maybe better description here of how I'm calling it. So in my mission, 
there's two different ways I did it okay and one was um, I had some friendly units that I wanted to make sure were randomized so what I did is in the group name so notice I double clicked on the actual group so apparently this is the actual group and I'm setting a variable on it this set variable unc randomize is true and it doesn't need to be a public variable because it only needs to be uh, visible on the server but of course it would be visible on everybody because everybody in it's this but it doesn't have to everybody doesn't have to have the same value I don't care once the server starts up it's going to then set these guys as having random uniforms and the way I did that would be in the init server sqf I believe here so in it in its server I had initially executed this line I have just realized I don't need to execute it I'm going to include it because the reason is, is because there's actually no executable commands in here, um, except for actually here. So I wonder if that works properly. Anyway, uh, I guess I will find out. Um, no, because I'm passing it from here anyway. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get back to the init server um, it gave it a second I needed to have it sleep when I was executing it because it took a second to load those two functions and then I just say groups to randomize is and going to be an array and then for each of all groups if that group has a variable called uncle randomize and it's true which I don't need to put equal true here because if it's true this condition is just true I don't need to put that in then groups to randomize push back that group so I'm just creating a list of all the groups I want to randomize the uniforms on then with that list okay I'm going to say for each in that list then pass the group name and the friendly parameter, that's just the reason why I don't need it in that other script, um, to the uncle group random gear. So for each of those groups, it's going to come back over here. It's going to execute this function, uncle random gear, which goes down to here. It's going to get the group, get the friendly parameter that we passed into it, and then call this function up here for every one of the units in that group. So that's how it works. It's pretty simple, um, pretty straightforward. And um, when I spawned in my groups, which I don't know if I have that open, yes. And here, I have a script that's spawning in those groups and I'm not doing anything right now on that. I've done some videos on spawning in groups, but every time I get a new group, um, here it is. At the end of their spawning in, they've gotten some waypoints, I've put some cleanup stuff on them, and then uh, I get the friendly parameter, and I pass that group name, and the friendly parameter, right, and call that uncle group random gear function. So super easy, super straightforward, and uh, there you are.